So we've done a Capella Hawks, Covington Rockets, D'Lo Timberwolves, and Wiggins Warriors. And today we are doing an Andre Drummond Cavs rebuild. So the Cavs kind of swooped in and traded for Andre Drummond when a lot of people thought that he wasn't going to get traded at all. The Cavs gave up John Henson, Brandon Knight, and a 2023 second round pick. He was literally traded for pennies on the dollar. Now I know Drummond isn't a ceiling raiser. He's not an elite player in the NBA, but I still think he's a good player, but he is an overpriced player for what he does on the court for how much he's getting paid per year. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Cavs overpaid for him in the off season. But but hey, it actually gives the Cavs not a horrible team now. They're actually probably not the worst team on paper anymore. Um, if Even if you didn't think they were already, maybe it was the Hawks you thought or technically the Warriors with all their injuries. But they have Drummond. They have Kevin Love. They have Sexton, Garland, Tristan Thompson, Larry and Shooter, Jetty Osman. They're not horrible. I might actually see what a full year of this front court can do next year because Love can kind of space the floor. I think I'm going to resign Drummond. I'm actually obviously going to because he's the title and thumbnail of this video. I want to win a title with Drummond. I would also like to win a title with Garland and Sexton as the backcourt, but we'll see how that goes on. And then I'm going to try to get anthony edwards to be that small forward for us but kevin porter jr has showed some nice signs this year he is shooting 34 percent on threes he's had a couple good games so far um he's been hurt for a little bit um or on and off throughout the year so yeah i'll see you guys at the end of season number one and we'll see where we're gonna end up in the draft lottery all right guys so we end season number one with a 26 and 56 record obviously we didn't make the playoffs i don't think andre Drummond was gonna propel the Cavs to make the playoffs but going into the lottery we are going to have the tied for the highest odds with the golden state warriors so if we take a look at the stats colin sexton almost 20 points three rebounds three assists 44 33 85 splits kevin love 18 and almost 10 um and he shot 38 from three maybe we'll look to trade kevin love in the offseason now maybe phoenix would be interested we'll see um andre drummond 17 points 15 and a half rebounds <laughs> he shot point he shot four percent from three not horrible um but he shot 53 from the field uh two assists two blocks two seals not terrible um garland 12 and a half five assists also uh drummond's gonna be a lot better in 2k than he is in real life um garland ended up shooting 35 from three and 86 from the line i'll take that tristan thompson we have to decide if we want to re-sign or not maybe do a sign and trade with like the clippers or boston maybe i'll do that and then there's jetty osman kevin porter jr larry nance jr dante exum who will be here next year uh unless i can find a trade for him on draft night so it is going to be a heat mavericks finals a rematch from 2010 2011 and the heat win it this time jimmy bow is your finals mvp i don't think i've ever seen that from year one so far all right so on to the draft and lottery now let's see where we end up we have the second pick according to the lottery odds please don't drop me down to five or six please don't do it so we end up going from two to four all right bulls get lucky they get number one pelicans get the third pick in the draft they get lucky once again and the hornets have the second pick in the draft so i'm gonna keep john beeline i will keep uh we'll keep jb bickerstaff for now we are gonna fire matthew stauffer why is matthew stauffer's ratings horrible but mike stauffer is like a god in this game so we are, end up signing logan mills and i believe i'm signing um abraham navarro so yeah we get all four of those guys which is sweet so let's go to the nba draft now I wanted Anthony Edwards, like, really badly, and I don't know if he's going to fall, and I really don't want to take a point guard. I mean, are the Hornets interested in Kevin Love? Maybe. If I took, oh, I would get Batum, but he has, oh, he's got a player option. I mean, could we do pick four and Love for Cody Zeller and pick two? I know I wanted to keep one more year of Love and just see how we do with Drummond, but I don't think that's going to be the case here. I mean, unless I could do Larry Nance in this, but I doubt that would work. And I would also give you Jetty Osman. Would, would, actually, I'll give you Dylan Windler if you like that. And do I want to throw in a pick? No. Um, and uh, Exum? That's a lot, and they'll probably accept this. So three players in pick five for Cody Zeller in pick two. They accept that. Let's get, or let's hope the Bulls don't take anthony edwards here come on chicago don't do this to me please don't do this to me okay they take denny Diop with the number one overall pick in the draft so anthony edwards welcome to cleveland he will be our small forward we're obviously going to sign him he's a 6-5 wing for us says his second position is a point guard he'll be a small forward for us so drummond opts out as expected we are going to give him a max deal qualifying offers um so yeah we do have both our centers in free agency now drummond has zero offers we're going to give him a five-year deal um yeah we probably could give him a little bit less than that since no other team is going after him and you know what let's stay confident let's give tristan thompson um uh, you know what let's do a sign and trade with thompson so let's give him a three-year deal he will probably accept that so we get drummond and tristan thompson now let's see if we could find a trade partner for tristan thompson would the clippers be interested i would maybe like to get montrose harrell but i don't think they would do like something like that no definitely not 
Okay, I want to see if we can pick up uh, Cap and Jelly and Zubots for Tristan Thompson. I doubt it. We're going to have to get Rodney Magruder to make the salary workout, but I will also give you... I don't think I can really give you anyone you would like. Like, yeah, you can't afford, like, Jetty Osman. Okay, so could we do this? Um, actually, could we get Zubots, basically, for Tristan Thompson? Um, and I would also want this Thunder... Or no, excuse me, this Clipper second round pick. Um, no, what about without it? Damn, I would have to throw in a second round pick to get Zubots. This Wizard second round pick. That might be a good one. No? Damn, all right. What about a 2024 second round pick from the Jazz as well? I'll give you three second round picks to get Zubots. Damn, okay. Screw that. I'm not I'm not trading you, Tristan Thompson. Let's see if Boston can maybe afford him. I doubt it, but if we... Could we get, like, Romeo Langford for Tristan Thompson? I don't think they would ever do that, but let's see. So, Romeo Langford. Um, nope, because he is more starters than him, so that's not happening. What about Tice? Uh, no, I think we're just going to keep Thompson, at least for this year. Maybe trade him on draft night next year. And we do have a lot of bigs, though, so I want to see if I can move on from Cody Zeller. Maybe a team would give me, like, a second-round pick for him if we're lucky. I don't know who can really afford him. Maybe the Pistons? Um, I don't really know. Actually, could we do this for, like, Tony Snell? Or do you already, you traded a waste? Oh, no, they still have Snell. Um, so we'll do Cody Zeller for Snell. We basically get a forward that we could play, and they get a center to replace, obviously, Drummond. I don't know if they drafted anyone. Um, nope, so they need a center, so they'll probably accept this, and they do. I probably could have got a second round pick out of that, so that's my fault for not trying to get that. I'm stupid. All right, so here's player progression. Sexton's an 81. Drummond's still at an 86. He's still only 26. This might be Love's last year as a cab. We might try to move him on draft night next year. Um, Tristan Thompson, he's he went down. Edwards, um, and then there's Garland Osman. Porter Jr. I don't think, I don't know if Tony Stem will crack the rotation. So we do have three on top potentials. I think I'm going to use it on Darius Garland. I think we are going to use it on Anthony Edwards. And then we're going to use it on Colin Sexton. There we go. All right, guys. So here's the rotation for next year. It's Garland, Sexton, Edwards, Love, and Drummond. It's not horrible, actually. And then the bench is Kevin Porter Jr., Tristan Thompson, Jetty Osman, and Tony Snell. We have a lot of small forwards on this team. Now, system proficiency is two and a half star grid and grind, but something's... Oh, we actually have a three and a half star seven seconds. So let's go to that. And then, yeah, I do have to turn on trade override and get my first round pick next year because it's going to go to the Pels, but really it's going to be two seconds or one second. I th think it might be two seconds. So I'm going to do that. I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. And let's hope that we just show some improvement from last year. All right, guys, we ended season number two with a 53 and 29 record. We're the three seed in the Eastern Conference. All right. That's kind of hype. So we're taking on Toronto in round one. Uh, they've added John Henson, our old buddy. Um, they have added Bobby Portis and Derrick Jones Jr. and Isaiah Stewart out of Washington. 53 wins. That's hype. Colin Sexton, 21, 3, 4 and a half, 47, 34, 85 splits. Anthony Edwards, 20 points, 4 assists as a rookie, 45, 37, 78 splits. Kevin Love, 16 and 9, shot 35 from 3, 88 from the line. I know we did well this year, but I still might try to move Kevin Love. Drummond, 16 and 13. He's really good in 2K. Uh, Darius Garland, 14 and 8. Okay. 47, 38, 88 splits. Yeah. And he's our point guard for the future. Kevin Porter Jr., 11 points off the bench, 35 from 3. I like that. Thompson, 7 and 8 and a half. And then there's Jetty Osman. I think I might try to move him as well in the offseason. So round one against the Raptors. Can we get a playoff series win under our belt? And we do. We beat the Raptors in six. Now we're facing the Boston Celtics, who are currently the two seed. So they have Kemba, Brown, Hayward, Tatum. Um, and then they have Tice, Smart, Robert Williams, Zach Randolph. What? Okay. Uh, Khalil Whitney from Kentucky. I think he's transferring now. And then Romeo Langford. So let's see how this goes. We end up losing in five, but hey, I will definitely take that season of improvement there. Kawhi Leonard is your finals MVP for the Clippers. They beat the Celtics in five. Maybe I should have traded my draft pick last year because, hey, it was at like three stars. Now it's going to be at like a star and a half. No, it probably will be at just like at one star probably. It ends up being pick. Where are we? We are pick 25. Wow. Yeah, I did not expect to improve that much. Shout out to John Beeline for that um, season for us. So let's go to the NBA draft. I think I still want to move Love, though. I mean, what could I get for Love, Jetty, and the 25th pick? Can we make a block? No, because, like, I mean, what disgruntled star would get traded for Kevin Love? I just... Sabonis? He had a down year. Maybe they'd want a nice, a better floor spacer next to Turner. Yo! What you say in 2K? That's a reason. Screw it. Let's get Demonsa Sabonis on this team. Jeremy Lamb and expiring, I probably would have to give up next year's or 
Oh, we had two first round picks from the Bucks as well. So if I gave up three picks, Jetty Osman and Kevin Love for Jeremy Lamb and Sabonis, let's see if they accept that. And they do. That is some improvements to the squad. So we currently have like seven guys that I'm comfortable playing with for next year. So let's go to this. Um, or let's sign Sexton Garland and Porter Jr. So I didn't really do a lot of drafting with these um, these rebuilds because actually I did draft James Wiseman and Anthony Edwards in the last two rebuilds. But in the Timberwolves one, I didn't really draft anyone at all. Spoiler alert if you haven't watched that yet. But yeah, we're looking for pretty much a backup. What do we want? Probably a backup three or starting... No, no, a backup... Mm, we do have... No, I would probably want a backup point guard. Wait, we have one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. Okay, yeah, we just really need a backup point guard in free agency, and we're set for next year. So we can afford a Devontae Graham. Oh, okay, or Dinwiddie. You know what? Give me Dinwiddie. Let's get this vet on the team. We can afford him. That is absolutely perfect. Um, Tony Snell is not going to come back, and we get Dinwiddie. Let's go. So I think I got Graham recently. I really haven't gotten Dinwiddie a lot this year, so I love that signing. So the team for next year. One, two, Garland will start. Don't worry. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think we might be better next year than we were this year. So play progression, Drummond's up to an 87, Sabonis 85. Oh, I don't even know about that floor spacing though. I didn't even realize that. That's going to be rough. Uh, Sexton, Dinwiddie. Okay, they all went up. Thompson went up. Edwards went up in attributes, but not overall. There is a Lamb, Garland, and Porter Jr. Training camps, we do have three on top potential. So I'm going to send perimeter shooting to Sabonis. Maybe it will help. Maybe it won't. So... He's actually got a 99 mid-range and a 74 three-point shot. Let's send perimeter shooting to Anthony Edwards as well because we want him to be a beast out there. Maybe I should have sent him to perimeter defense, but I'm actually going to send perimeter defense to Colin Sexton because he's an undersized guard guarding smaller uh, or taller players at the two. All right, guys, so here's the rotation for next year. Garland, Sexton, Edwards, Sabonis, Drummond. <laughs> They're in the same position. With Dinwiddie, Porter Jr., Tristan Thompson, and Jeremy Lamb off the bench. Our bench is really good. Says the proficiency is three and a half stars. Anything four? Nope, so we'll stick with that. And then our preseason power ranking, according to NBA.com. Ooh, it's, oh, wow, 19th? I think we might be better this year than last year. Maybe we could push for 60 wins. Who knows? Okay, I guess 2K loves this team. We go 63 in 19 in year three. John Beeline gets coach of the year. I didn't expect to be this good already. Did anyone make an all-NBA team? Let's see. No Cavs. No, we didn't get anybody on the all-NBA teams. We didn't get Drummond on all defensive second team now. And yeah, we're the one seed in the Eastern, or yeah, in the Eastern Conference. Raptors... Dan and Kelly Oubre Jr. That's cool. He had a solid year for them after being pretty poor in Phoenix. Um, obviously, still have Siakam. They're playing him at the four or the five? They're playing him at the four. I don't know why I thought the five for a second. There's Harry Giles. They have Marcus Morris Sr. Okay. Uh, Bobby Portis. Interesting. I mean, we beat the Raptors last year. I'm not too worried about them this year. So, Colin Sexton, 21 points, three rebounds, four assists, 52, 41, 91. Wow, he's 50, 40, 90. That's incredible. Anthony Edwards, 19 points, three rebounds, three assists, 45, 37, 81 splits. Pretty good for a sophomore. Drummond, 16 and a half and 14, 56 from the field, two blocks and two steals. Garland, 14 points, seven assists, 50, 44, 88. Wow. Um, Sabonis, 13 and 11. He shot 31 from three. Uh, Dinwiddie, 12 and a half and seven, 38 from three off the bench. And then there's Jeremy Lamb. He shot 37 from three off the bench. Kevin Porter Jr. shot 36 from three. And then Tristan Thompson averaged about five and six off the bench. So round one here against Toronto. Can we beat them? And we do win in six. All right. Now, that wasn't too hard of an opponent. But now we got to take on KD and Kyrie. They also have Bogey, Frank the Tank, Jordan, Allen, LaVert, Claxton. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Don't. Oh, wow. We sweep them. Okay. I thought they would have put up bigger fight than what the Raptors did uh, if we take a look at the playoff stats um, we have three guys over 17 points Drummond is killing it for us three steals two blocks 14 rebounds and 19 points uh, Sabonis is shooting 40% from downtown Garland is averaging 14 and 8 pretty much and shooting 47 wow he's improved all right and we're taking on the Celtics who were in the finals last year Kemba Smart Brown Tatum uh, Tatum's a star uh, Robert Williams, Hayward, Jamar. Okay, their bench isn't great. They got Taco in there. Can we can we beat them? I'm kind of nervous. <gasps> Damn it. Oh, that sucks. We lose in seven. So that sucks. We lose in seven. And now you have Grizzlies, Celtics, and the Celtics lose two finals in a row, I think. Um, or no. Yeah, I think two in a row. John Moran is your finals MVP. That's crazy.
So I believe we do have our first round pick in this draft. Yeah, it's at 29. So we got to go all in in next year. The Nuggets ended up with the first pick in the draft. I hope Beeline's the coach that could do it for us because I really want to get to the NBA Finals next year. I do want to trade that pick, though. Maybe we could move Thompson in that pick for a better backup center. Only thing I can really think of, Daniel Tice might be better, honestly. Dwight Powell, he's 30. thought I can get something clearly better. Chris Paul? I don't need Chris Paul, though. Like, Chris Paul's cool and all, but I have Dinwiddie. You know what? Scotty Barnes? Yeah, give me Scotty Barnes. Why not? So we're going to bring back Edwards, Garland, and Porter Jr. We're going to have Colin Sexton the qualifying offer. I don't want to have to trade him. I really don't. Uh, Jeremy Lamb, come back on a four-year deal. And Sexton, you're going to get probably the max from me. Um, so yeah, we are going to sign Lamb. Actually, can I afford a max contract? Oh, I'm 16 mil away from signing Kyrie Irving. That's kind of nuts. But now nah, we're going to offer Colin Sexton a uh, rookie extension. It's a lot of money. It's about 26 mil a year. And he is going to sign that. So player progression, Drummond 88. Sexton's up to an 87. Wow, he jumped up three overalls. That's huge. Uh, Sabonis still an 85. There's Dinwiddie Edwards. Okay, everybody went up, which is good besides Jeremy Lamb's perimeter D. All right, so we do have three untapped potentials or three training camps to use. Excuse me. I, I just associate them with untapped potentials. But I'm going to send perimeter shooting to Demonza Sabonis. We're going to send perimeter defense to our backcourt, though, in Colin Sexton. Defense isn't very good. And Darius Garland. How's his defense? It's better than Sexton's. All right, guys. So the rotation is still the same as last year. Garland, Sexton, Edwards, Sabonis, Drummond with a bench of Dinwiddie, Porter Jr., Jeremy Lamb, and this time Scotty Barnes instead of Tristan Thompson. System proficiency is three and a half stars. Nothing is four, which kind of sucks. And then our preseason power ranking, according to NBA.com, is all the way at 21. We won 63 games last year. Let's hope we do the same. And this time we can actually go to the NBA Finals. So we end season number three or season number four now with a 54 and 28 record. That puts us as the one seed back again in the Eastern Conference. Actually, is this year three or year four? I forget. I believe this is year four. Yeah, this is year four. So the Pistons, Cole Anthony, Matt Mooney, former Cav, uh, Sekou, Yusman Garuba, Mitchell Robinson, Whiteside, Isaac Stein. This is a interesting team. Still have Blake Griffin. All right, uh, so we can check out the stats from this past season. Colin Sexton, reading score. Anthony Edwards, um, right behind him, about 19 points, 48, 40, 81 splits. With Sexton, 50, 40, 90, he was not. Um, Drummond, 15 and 14. Uh, Garland, 14 and 7. He was 50, 40, 90. There's KPJ. Sabonis averaged a double-double. Dinwiddie, Barnes, Lamb. I want to get into the playoffs. Round one, let's beat Detroit. Let's go. We sweep them. So round two here against the Philadelphia 76ers. They got Simmons, Richardson, Tobias, Horford. Okay, they've added Moses Brown, um, Matisse, George Hill, Ronnie Hood. Okay. So let's simulate this round and we win in five. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now we got the Celtics revenge game or revenge series. They beat us last year and we beat them this time. And we're in the finals to take on the Warriors who have Curry, Clay, McDermott, Pascal, Capella. Still have D-Lo. Okay. So they, they should have Wiggins. That's annoying. Um, So let's see what happens here. It's a rematch from like, what? Three straight finals Um, that the Cavs and Warriors played or four straight finals. I should four, three, three. Four? Yeah, four straight finals, uh, where the Warriors went 3-1, and one. and let's see if we could beat them. We win in six, that is what I'm talking about. Finals MVP is the guy who's the title and thumbnail of this video, Andre Drummond. So yeah, that is gonna be for me, I hope you guys did enjoy, we did a lot better than I thought we were gonna do. But yeah, let me know in the comments which rebuild you'd like to see next. We've done Capello, we've done Rocco, we've done Devo, Wiggins, and now Drummond. Do you want to see Marcus Morris? Do you want to see Igudala? New look Knicks, new look Nuggets? Let me know in the comments section below. Or even a new look Pistons where they're entering their rebuild. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do whatever you guys want to do. But yeah, that is good for me. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.